Extended highlights delivered by Papa John's. They love the jet sweep. That's Eugene Wilson. They call him Trey, who was in motion. Mertz, plenty of time. Fires down the middle on the run. And it is number three all the way to the 39-yard line. Trey Wilson. The two top backs for the Gators. In the pistol set. Play action. Mertz wants to throw it to Johnson, and he's taken down. Well, not quite. I thought he was going to be taken down by Chaz Chambliss, but he got away. For Georgia, best around. Slant. There's a first down. Wilson is going to score. Touchdown, Florida. Oh, ooh, I like my look. I got a slant to the start, top. A perfect throw. If you're going to throw a slant pass and you want yards after catch. Second down at six. Back on the roll and fires on the run and throws a strike. Got it just outside the Gator 40 yard line. Second down and eight. Play action. Beck comes up. Fired on the oh. sideline. Oscar Delp. With and the there's the replacement. Well, you can't replace Brock Bowley. 18 yard one handed grab to the 22. Beck looking for more. Throws complete down to the five yard line. It's Lad McConkey. How about these two quarterbacks starting off this game, okay? Attempt out of a Carson Beck hole. Woodring from 22 splits the uprights. Well, Georgia goes the length of the field, much like Florida did, but had to settle for three. Nice cut outside by Etienne. He's got a first down. And he did get the first down just over midfield. Here's a jet sweep and then around. And Pearsall is going to go down for a loss. I'll, I'll tell you, that's a 10 yard gain for Florida. Ball was out, and it's way back at the 38 yard line, recovered by the offensive line. I think it was Jalen Walker that came around the edge. Third and four. Back with a blitz cover. Zips it across the middle. Complete first down. And on the run is Ra Ra Thomas. So there's number five chipping in. Muse in motion. Beck look out from behind. Got the pass away. He threw a strike. Lad McConkie. McConkie. Touchdown, Georgia. 41 yards. Man to man here, but when the motion goes, all of a sudden, that's the guy that got him. Look at these, five yards outside. Can't make the play, easy throw. And McConkey looks back and says, you mean I only got to beat a linebacker with a brace on? <laughs> that's all I got to do? I can do that. The play it safe on the ground and a good choice and a good run, a great run. Wow. Johnson just keeps on going. And they run up to the line in a hurry. Yeah. Trying to draw Georgia offsides. Now under center. And they snap it in a wildcat. And Etienne is swarmed under by Georgia. They stop it. Carson Beck waits too long. Brought down from behind Lamar Lyons. Jamari Lyons, I beg your pardon. Edwards to the edge. Edwards to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. 20 yards for Dejon Edwards. Watch it right here. Watch this block on the outside. It's Truss. Watch him turn him in. And boom, now your running back's gone. Dejon Edwards looks shifty. He looks smooth, but he's obviously faster than we thought. And they took the 7-0 lead. Georgia with a blitz. Mertz running out of time, going down. Back at the 15, and it's Dumas Johnson. And they've been struggling for sacks or havoc plays, whatever you want to call it, but they still don't give up a lot of points. And Mertz is in a little bit of trouble again. The ball is out again, and Georgia's got it. Marvin Jones, the linebacker. They don't go on fourth down very often. They're going here. Dejon Edwards, touchdown, Georgia walking in. 
Didn't get it the first time. He got it that time. And he kind of tiptoes, tiptoes. Oscar Delp gets a great block on that play. Four plays later, another score for Dejan from the two. Now it's third and ten for a team that has a trouble with third down conversions and Mertz in trouble again, and he's going down again. He's, and it was holding on the play as well. Makai Muse is back for Georgia after kind of twisting his leg on his last punt return. He waits back inside his own 40. And they got it with a block punt. And did he pick it up in time? No, I think it landed out of the field for a safety. safety. Yes, and then bounced back in. And it probably involves Alabama as having a longer <laughs> streak. First down. Kendall Milton and Milton breaks into the secondary with a stiff arm. He's across the 40 yard line for what Brock Bowers usually gives you. Three catches, 65 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Milton run, dropped for a loss. Run blitz that time. Good call that time on the defense. Quarterback Lions announcer, same thing, right? <laughs> First down at the 44. They John Edwards. Man. Well, what a show he's putting on. He's dragging Gators oh, with him. Williams. Easy play. 18 yard pickup for Edwards. Now Beck got dropped for a loss by the man Mielin. Causes false starts a lot of times. And they're going to have a run blitz here, but Johnson's going to run through it. Get it out to the 20, maybe the 21. Send Boardingham, the tight end in motion. Mertz, deep middle. Got it! Down to the 15 to Pearsall. Well, I had plenty of time to throw. Mission team, not yep. you. <laughs> There's a jet sweep. And Wilson's not going to get anything. Look at the same play by Tyke Smith, number 23, this time. On CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Carson back all day to throw. Fires on the run. Love it. Dominic, love it. Down the sideline and out of bounds at around the 10. Out of a Carson Beck hole. And he's got it up and good. So the big play on that one, a 55 yard pass and run by Lovett. That one play that one guy blocks, the other guy makes the play. Here's Etienne in the open field, his best run. Out across the 40 to the 42. And now it's a flea flicker. Mertz has to throw quick, but got it to Pearsall. And it's another Gator first down. Got a little something going here offensively. You're always wrong when you do that. Buddy. Of course. <laughs> and George is going to throw anyway. Well, Love it. And a nice open field tackle right there. And a loss of two. Jason Marshall with the hit. Georgia with a trip bunch they do. to the left of Beck. Throws across his body. And he got it to McConkey again. Lad McConkey. Little shift to the left, still running. Big gainer for number 84. Edwards met head on that time. Nice job by the floor to front. Georgia needs to get to the 13 to move the sticks here in the final half minute of the third quarter. And the lob to the corner, and it's a touchdown to Dylan Bell. Perfectly thrown ball by Beck. His second touchdown toss of the day. He had one on one of the outsides, a quick throw, little play action, but he knew right away he was going outside. Fourth. Montreal Johnson blasts his way off the left side. Montreal down the sideline, biggest gain of the day for him and the Gators. Johnson behind him in the pistol set. That's Pearsall crossing the field. They fake it to both of them and slings it to the corner to the tight end. Hayden Hansen touchdown Gators. Georgia was confused. Look at over here. Everybody's trying to figure out where to go. And Pearsall ends up coming back to them. Nobody covers them. And they still get the play to work. The big tight end in the corner. First down at the 22. Dejan Edwards. Amazing. Down to the six. The center, one of the best, as Gary said, right there. Third down and goal. Kendall Milton bounces backward in touchdown, Georgia.
I think this is really good play calling too. You know, everybody's touched the ball here. Kendall Milton's turn. You know, they just kept getting the push. The legs kept going. But the Gators six and seven in the last two years, and they need a couple victories. They got to get bowl eligible yet. Mertz looks right, comes back to the left on the side-on throw to Pearsall. Pearsall, good speed down the sideline, and lays a lick at the end of it in front of the Georgia bench. Now they'll play each other in years to come. Mertz, nice throw, and Ricky Pearsall. Cartwheels inside the five, first and goal, Gators. Or Mertz, or Trey on pushing Mertz, touchdown. Spun him in. So the guy that maybe should have gotten it gets the push on his quarterback. Right now, Billy Napier is going, wish I'd have run that play earlier in the game. And you can see the smile feeling pretty good about being in his hometown. And Billy Napier's team falls to five and three, three and two in the conference. Georgia still unblemished at 8-0 and 5-0 in the SEC.